نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد آتینا موسا تسع آیات بینات فص البنی اسرائیل از جا اہم فقال له فرعون انی لعظن کا یا فرعو یا موسا مسحورا قال لقد علم تما انزلہ الا اللہ رب السماوات ولرد بصائر و انی لعظن کا یا فرعون مسبورا صدق اللہ العظیم ناؤ دس از دی لاسٹ سیکشن آف سورت بنی اسرائیل and there is a similarity between the first section of surah ubani israel which we read last night and this last section in the first section as we saw last night there was a mention of the history of bani israel twice they reached zenith power glory twice they were persecuted and chastised by allah subhanahu wa taala now that began with the exodus when the bani israel had left egypt here what happened before that in egypt while hazrat musa alayhi salatu was salam was sent as a messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala towards firaun and his chieftains and as a savior for the bani israel so now the mention is of that part of that history wa laqad atayna musa tisa ayatin bayyanatin and we gave moses nine signs which were very clear nine miracles first of all two miracles that were given to him in the first instance one was that his staff turned into serpent other was that when he took out his hand it was bright as sun without any disease but afterwards the famine the sea the storm locus lies frogs and rain of blood these were the signs which were shown as a proof that not musa alayhi salatu was salam was the messenger of allah but firaun rejected all of them wal qad atayna musa tis ayatin bayyanatin fasal bani israil is jahu and we had given moses alayhi salatu was salam nine clear signs now you can ask bani israil the children of israil what happened when moses came to them faqala lahu fir'aun but fir'aun said to him to musa alayhi salatu was salam inni la zunnuka ya musa mashura i think moses you have been bewitched some magic has overtaken you the same thing which was being said of muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam at makkah the same thing was said about musa alayhi salatu was salam in egypt qala laqad alimta now musa alayhi salatu was salam he gave him the answer in the same coin qala laqad alimta ma anzala ha ula illa rabbu samawati wal ard basair you very well know that all these signs which i have shown you were not sent down except by allah subhanahu wa taala who is the lord of all the heavens and the earth to open your eyes wa inni la zunnuka ya fir'aun masbura and i think o oh fir'aun you are going to be doomed and destroyed farada yastafizhu min al-ard now firaun tried to erase them from the land to kill them all fagrak na ho instead of the bani israel being killed we drowned him agrak na ho mam ma'hu jamia or all of his armies and chieftains they were all drowned in the sea faqulna min ba'dihi li bani israel and then we said to bani israel uskunu al-ard now you live in this world فَإِذَا جَاءَ وَعَدُ الْآخِرَةِ جَيْنَا بِكُمْ لَفِيفَا When the promise of the Akhirah will come to pass, then we shall bring you back rolled up as a crowd. Now what does this mean? This means, you know, when this world will come to an end and all human beings will have to go to the, the plane of Hashr, which we call where they will be accounted for for their deeds and, and whatever they said so that is all people all humanity will be brought over there but here particularly for bani israel what does it mean i think so that bani israel have been in the condition of diaspora for nearly 2000 years in the year 70 
Titus, the Roman general, he conquered to suppress the rebellion of the Jews in Jerusalem. He massacred 133,000 people in one day, Jews. Also took 63,000 as captives and slaves and demolished the second temple which was built in the Mecca, during the Maccabi kingdom and turned them out, the money Israel, go away from Jerusalem and go away from Palestine. That was the beginning of their diaspora. They went to Europe, they went to Russia, they went to Asia, they went to, to Africa and so on and so forth. And they went to the Asian countries. So this diaspora came to an end. When? In this century, in the year 1917. Well, you know the Britishers, they allowed them because Palestine was under their mandate. So they allowed the Jews, you can come back in Palestine and you can settle over here. You can buy houses, property, fields, etc., etc. 1917. Starting from the year 70 A.D. to 1917, what it, does it come to? 1800 and something. For this long period, they were not able to enter into Palestine. But now they are being gathered there because now their final end will come. When there is going to be a big confrontation, the, surah, the next surah, Surah Kahf, will begin with it. The Al-Malhamatul Uzma, the biggest war of the, of the history of the world. And you know, there will be massacres. And this Ummah, Yahud, they will be finished, exterminated. Like the old nations to whom the messengers of Allah were sent. The nation of Nu and Hud and Saul, etc. The same thing will happen to them at the hands of Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, who is going to return back. He was raised alive to the heavens and he will descend down. So this is why now the Jews are being you know, collected in one land so that their greater Israel becomes their greater graveyard. If they have spread over the whole of the world, you know, then the chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have to be universal. No, you gather them, come here, gather here so that in one strike you are all finished. This is going to happen, inshallah. In the first section of the surah also, after mentioning the four periods of the history of Bani Israel, then there was the ayah, In the Quran, Yahdi Lilati Hiya Akwam. Why you wash your woman in a lazina, Yamaluna Salihat and Nalahum Ajuran Kabira. In the same way, here also, after mentioning a part of the history of Bani Israel, now, Wabil Hakte and Zalnahu, Wabil Hakte Nazal. With truth, we have sent down this Quran, and it has come down the truth. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad, but only as a giver of the glad tidings and as a warner. And this Quran we have sent down to you piecemeal, not whole of it at once, bit by bit. So that you may recite it to the people with intervals. And And we have sent down it gradually. Say to them, O oh people, whether you believe in this Quran or you don't believe. In the min qablihi. Those people to whom knowledge was given before this Quran. When this Quran is recited unto them. They fall on their faces on the ground in prostration. And they say, Glory is for our Lord. And verily, the promise of our Lord had to be fulfilled. This was the promise. You know, in Deuteronomy, one of the books, five books of Bible, in 1818, Chapter 18 and verse 18, this is the prophecy. I will raise from among their brothers a messenger like you, O Moses, and I will put my word in his mouth, and he will then say to them what I would like him to say. 
دس از دی پروفیسی اکارڈنگ ٹو وچ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم واز سینٹ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی اینڈ دی پیپل ہو ہیڈ نالج دی علماء دی نالجیبل پیپل امنگ بنی سائی دی نیو ایٹ سو دوز پیپل وین دے لسن ٹو قرآن دے فیل آن دی گراؤنڈ ان پروسٹریشن اینڈ دے سیٹ سبحان رب نا ان کان آباد رب نا لبفولا گلوری بی ٹو اور لارڈ ڈیفینیٹلی دی پرومس آف اور لارڈ ہیڈ ٹو بی فلفلڈ وہ یا خرون علی لسخان یب کون و یسید ہوں خوشو آ اینڈ دے فال ڈاؤن آن دیئر فیس از ویپنگ اینڈ دس انکریزنگ دس انکریز ان دیم دی فیئر آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دس از آیت آف سجدہ سو پلیز میک اے سجدہ بسم اللہ اول آخر آؤ دی لاسٹ ٹو آیات قل دو اللہ عبد الرحمن سے او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم او پیپل کال اپون اللہ اور کال اپون رحمان اٹ میکس نو ڈفرنس ایم ما تدعو ہوم سو ایور یو آر کالنگ فلاح السما الحسن آل دی بیوٹیفل نیمز آر فار ہم دیر واز اے کنٹروورسی ان مکہ بیکاز دے نیو دی نیم اللہ دے یوز اٹ قرآن ہیز آلسو اڈیپٹیڈ دی ورڈ اللہ یس بٹ قرآن انٹروڈیوس ادر نیمز آف اللہ آلسو اینڈ ان دی ادر نیمز موسٹ پرومیننٹ از رحمان اٹ کمز ان قرآن مینی ٹائمز مینی ٹائمز ہنڈریڈ اینڈ تھرٹین ٹائمز ان دی آیا بسم اللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دی عرب یو ٹو سے ہو از دس رحمان وی ڈونٹ نو اللہ وی نو بٹ ہو از دس رحمان سو ناؤ اللہ از سینگ وٹ ڈز اٹ میک وٹ ڈفرینٹ ڈز اٹ میک ہی از ون ہی از دی کریٹر ہی از دی لارڈ ہی از دی سسٹینر ہی از ون آل گڈ نیمس بلانگ ٹو ہم سو یو کال ہم بائی دا نیم آف اللہ اور یو کال ہم بائی دا نیم آف رحمان اٹ میکس نو ڈفرینس All praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ayah is very important. It is in a way equal to Surah Al-Ikhlas. All the things which are included in four ayat of Surah Al-Ikhlas are here in one ayat. Qul alhamdulillah. Number one say, all praise belongs to Allah. Allazee lam yattakhiz walada. Who didn't take a son to him. Lam yalid wa lam yulad in Surah Al-Ikhlas. He didn't take a son to him. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكٌ فِي الْمُلْكِ And there has been no partner with him in sovereignty. He is the sovereign. لَهُ الْمُلْكِ Sovereignty belongs to him and him alone. سَرْوَرِ زَيْبَا فَقَتُ الزَّاتِ بِي هَمْ تَاكُ هَيْ حُكْمَ رَاهَ اِكْ وَهِ بَاقِ بُتَانِ عَذْرِ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيُّ مِنَ الزُّلِ And there has been no helper or friend for him because of any weakness. You have friends and you think a friend will come in some time of need he will help me and that, that is why you keep the friendship and that is why you have to somehow and sometimes accept his wrong demand also well he is my friend i have to accept his his thing although it's wrong but i have to accept he is my friend maybe tomorrow i need his help there's no such friend of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah doesn't need any help allah is all powerful He has all ya. All the Ahle Iman, the believers are all ya of Allah. But this is not due to any weakness. This is not because he needs some help. وَكَبِّرْ هُوْ تَكْبِيرًا And magnify him with all the magnification. Now what is magnify? Make him great, great, great. Not only say. We, we think saying Allahu Akbar, it is takbir. Yes, it is takbir. But this is the beginning of takbir. The end of takbir is you make Allah supreme, His command supreme, He becomes the ruler, His law is enforced, His system that has been given, that He has given in the form of Deenul Haq, it becomes supreme, then He will be great, otherwise He is not great. Constitution of United States of America is greater than Allah and Supreme Court is greater than Allah and everything you know. Parliament, Senate, 
Congress, they are greater than Allah. They can pass any law against the law of Sharia. They can pass. So Allah is not great. He is great, no doubt. But you have to make him really great, actually great, when his greatness is established. So this ayah, you know, in five different ways, it is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this tawheed in a very comprehensive universe. Magnify him, make him great. 